Hi there, good morning. Well, welcome to our home. It is lovely to have you here with me this morning. I feel absolutely privileged to have you join with me this morning. I just want to start today by saying a very, very big thank you for taking the time out every morning to listen to me for these few minutes. Um, what I believe that God has laid on my heart for me to share with you. So I just feel absolutely privileged. I feel absolutely honored to know that you take the time to listen in. So I want to say to you this morning a very, very big, big thank you for listening in. I really, really appreciate it. Well, here in the UK, it is Monday morning. It's a start of a new week. And here in the UK, our lockdown uh, restrictions concerning uh, the coronavirus are being eased a little bit as of today. So we are going into maybe a different season, a little bit of a change. And I just want to say to you today that I am praying for you. I pray that God's absolute peace, His absolute favor, His goodness, His joy, His protection would be your portion even in today. I pray that if you are feeling a little bit of unease and I uncertainty as to the next step that we are going into that God's absolute peace will be your portion today that you will trust God your confidence will be in your almighty God today who promises to never leave you or forsake you so that is my prayer for you and your families even in today well I don't know if you know the song you make me brave well it's a song by Bethel and I love the lyrics of that song you make me brave the definition of brave is courageous it's fearless it's audacious and it's lion-hearted lion-hearted well the world sometimes has a bit of a different idea as to what being brave is all about it's something they may believe that it's something that you stir up on the inside of you. It's something you have to do. And oftentimes they believe it's a front that you have to put up. You say I'm brave, but actually on the inside you are uh, full of anxiety. There's uncertainty. You're not feeling very happy about things. And you put on a face. You say, I am brave, but you're not actually feeling very brave. Well, this is what the Bible tells us in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. It says, remember, I commanded you, be strong and brave. Don't be afraid because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Well, we see here from the scripture that it is a command. A command is something that we need to obey. When a soldier is out in the battlefields and his commander sends out a command, they obey. Well, our commander, Jesus Christ, is sending out a command for us today, for you and I. And he's saying to us, be strong, be brave, and don't be afraid. This is what he's commanding us. In ourselves, in our own strength, we cannot do this. We cannot do this. Um, but we can know that with God on our side, him leading us, our super wonderful God guiding us even into this in this day, we can be brave, we can be strong and we can be not afraid today. Well, I know there's another thing that I loved about the definition of the word brave and that was lion hearted, lion hearted. While the scripture in Proverbs 28 verse 1 says, the wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly, they are as bold as a lion. I love that. Well, I remember last year when I was going through the cancer journey, I remember in the week praying and coming across this scripture, which I just loved. I wrote it out and stuck it on my fridge door. Uh, anyway, we got to church on the Sunday morning and we have a lovely gentleman in our church by the name of Peter. And Peter came to me and he said to me, Belinda, I went out in the week on a day trip and I found these four magnets and I want to give them to your family. But the one magnet I've chosen and I want this magnet to be your magnet. And as I picked it up and I started to read it, it was the scripture of Proverbs 28 verse 1. The wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the God are as bold as a lion and that I was just so excited that day I remember coming home putting it on my fridge and every time I see that scripture I'm reminded of the goodness of God and I'm reminded that I am godly and I am as bold as a lion even in today 
well. An interesting fact about the lion is they have the loudest roar. A lion, uh, the male lion's roar is said can be heard from up to five miles away. Their roar helps them proclaim their territory. I love that. Their roar helps them proclaim their territory. Well, what does your roar sound like today? Is it one of defeat or one of an overcomer? Are you taking back your territory today? What are you proclaiming today? I want to encourage you today in the fact that your strength and bravery are in knowing this is where your bravery and your strength comes. It's in knowing that the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go today. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So have a blessed day. Have a courageous day and be strong in today. God richly bless you today and we'll chat again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.